Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look inspired by Ariana Grande in her new music video with Lady Gaga. It's the song Rain On Me. I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of her music, but in this video, she's got a white graphic liner and her makeup just looks stunning. And I just had to recreate it. Also because I got the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner in the shade Space Panda and I thought that it would be perfect for this look. And before we begin, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload and we're going to get straight on into the video. So today, obviously, you can probably tell that I don't have anything on my face. I haven't done my base yet. So we're going to start with foundation and I'm going to use, as always, the Nabla Close Up Foundation in the shade M10. I'm just going to dot that all over my face and blend it in with a beauty sponge. Nothing new here, to be honest. If you guys haven't seen my Beauty Bay haul, I did order the Ordinary Foundation, so I'm gonna do a first impression on that and like see how it wears all day. I just need to fake tan first because I got a super, super dark shade and I'm still super pale. I need to go lay out in the sun with sunscreen on obviously <laughs> so i'm just patting this into the skin and this is also a bit too dark for me so i'm gonna take it all the way down the neck <laughs> let me know what the situation is like where you live are you still in lockdown are things starting to open back up i know that a lot of places in the world are still in quarantine and everything is still closed so that's blended in more or less and now we're going to go in with concealer i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer this is in the shade 08 it's a little bit lighter than my foundation but i like to use it to brighten up the under eyes and like highlight the face down the center and i always blend the concealer under my eyes last because i like to let it set for a little bit because I feel like that gives it a bit more coverage. The drier it is, the more coverage it gives. So I'm gonna just blend the center bits first. Ariana Grande always has perfect skin. And so we're gonna try and, and recreate that, obviously. I did like a little pony because I'm trying to be Ariana Grande, you know? I'm also taking this on the eyelids to kind of prime. We're not gonna really be using any eyeshadow today, it's just going to be some liner. So I wanna make sure that my eyelids are covered and that you can't see all of those little veins because I have a lot of those on my eyelids. So I'm gonna be honest, I haven't even listened to the song Rain On Me. <laughs> because as I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Ariana Grande's music, but I've seen this look going around everywhere and I am absolutely obsessed with it, so. That is why we are doing it today. Time for powder. We've got the Rimmel Match Perfection Powder in Transparent 001. This has become one of my new favorite powders. It was like, I don't know, 10 pounds. Super, super affordable. And I ran out of my Fenty one after about a year of having that because there was so much product in it and I literally used it every day. So I wanna repurchase that when I go into Sephora next. But for now, I'm using this one. It is very mattifying. So if you don't like that and you have dry skin, I don't know how good this would be for you. But for my oily skin, it really, really helps the makeup stay matte and stay on all day. I'm just using the puff that comes with it to really press that powder in. And that powder puff is so soft. It feels so good on my skin. Now I'm going in with contour. I've got the KVD Vegan Beauty Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to use, oh gosh. And we're going to use this shade here just to contour the cheekbones. It's the perfect kind of contour color. Not too warm, not too cool. But yeah, I love the color of this. I've been loving the Fenty Cream Bronzer as well. But I thought today I'll just use a powder because I'm lazy. Never forget that jawline. We need Ariana's jawline. So fake it till you make it. <laughs> and what I like to do to clean up the line under the contour is take some white powder. This is from the same palette, the Kat Von D, on my, what's it called? Blendiful, and just swipe it underneath just to kind of lift the contour a little bit. And if you make a mess, this is a great tip to just clean it up much better. For blush, we're going in with the Dim Infusion Ambient Lighting Blush by Hourglass. And I'm gonna take it on a really huge powder brush just because I want a kind of all over blush. I'm even taking it onto the nose and all along the cheeks. And I'm putting a lot on, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. This blush is almost finished. I need to get a new one. I love this. It's my holy grail, like everyday blush. 
it's a peachy blush that goes with every single makeup look and we need some glow in our life so we're using the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive if you haven't tried the Ofra highlighters you need to they are so intense they give that kind of wet look to the skin and I like to bring it onto the apple so that when I look forward you can see that glow which is a tip I got off Jacqueline Hill, the queen of highlighter. Okay, time for the best part, the eyes. I'm going to set the concealer a little bit with the shade Certified from the Jacqueline Hill Morphe Volume 2. You can take any bone white shade that you want. This one is very bright. So you can even take a translucent powder or a skin colored powder and that will work just as well. And she's got a black winged liner and then the graphic liner that goes around it. So first I'm going to go in with the winged liner, the black winged liner. And I'm going to use the MAC Black Track Gel Liner because it's the blackest of black liners that I own and it's very matte. And I'm taking it on the Anastasia Brow Brush in number seven because it's a super fine angled brush and it makes it really easy to do winged liner. So we're just going to create a normal wing as you would usually do. So I've gone for a kind of straight wing. And just do the other eye and hope that it turns out the same. I also tight lined and I find it so uncomfortable and it always makes my eyes water because it's so ticklish. <laughs> As I said in the intro, I'm using the Suva Hydro Liner in the shade Space Panda, which is a mite, matte, a mite, a matte white hydro liner. So I think to activate it, you need to wet your brush. So I've got some water in here. I'll just put a little bit of water on there, onto the brush. So yes, and it says you need to kind of mix it around until it's ready. So I'm just going to mix, mix, mix a little bit until you get a kind of creamy consistency. So that looks pretty good to me. The first thing I'm gonna do is draw a white line underneath that wing. That is so pigmented. Oh, I'm obsessed. I kind of made a little mess here, but I'm gonna go over later with the black liner to make it a bit straighter. And then we want to go with the graphic liner on the crease. Ooh, that's pretty thick. Like so. That's the kind of guideline there. I'm not really happy with like how white it is or how thick it is. <laughs> so we're going to try to go over it. And at the end, we're just winging it up like so. And I'm going to clean up this line later. It's a bit of a disaster. So this liner looks super white at first, but then when it dries down, it kind of loses its pigmentation. But I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. What I'm gonna do is take a cotton bud and some micellar water and just kind of clean up the lines because I did make a bit of a mess. Obviously, if you have a super steady hand, this is not necessary. And I don't like this kind of bump that we've got up here. Just taking some concealer on a really small flat brush, and I'm gonna use this to clean up the line. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. So I'm just setting the concealer again with the shade from the Jacqueline Hill palette. And this white also goes all the way along the bottom lash line. Sorry guys, my camera dies. So I went ahead and did the rest of this eye. And the last step is to just go all the way along the lower lash line with the white and connect it to the outer corner. So it's all like one big long line. I do not have the right eye shape for this look. <laughs> Graphic liner is one of the hardest things for me to do. I don't know why. I think it is the shape of my eye. And also because I have a really protruding brow, brow bone. So when I look forward, you can't even see the tip of the wing. But I tried my best. I'm just going to go into the waterline with a black liner just to separate 
the white and the black a little bit more and I'm going to elongate that inner corner a little bit. I feel like you can't see that white very much because of the white shadow that I put down before so I'm just taking a kind of muted brown just to create a little bit of contrast. Okay, while I wait for the lash glue to dry on my fake lashes, I'm going to do lips. She's got a kind of pinky nude going on, so I'm gonna line the lips with the Subculture Lip Pencil by MAC. And then I'm taking the Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I might mix in a bit of the KVD Beauty liquid lipstick in bow and arrow just to give a little bit more colour. And the last step is to just apply my lashes and mascara and I will be back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I feel like lashes just bring a look together because I wasn't really happy with it before. I just think my eye shape is not the best for graphic liner because I have hooded eyes and they are quite like, rounded. But I tried my best and I quite like how it turned out. Let's do a close up of the eyes. So here is what the eyes are looking like. The lashes I used are by a brand called Moolak, which is an Italian brand. So I'm not sure if you can get it in other countries, but I think it looks pretty cool. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out in the end. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. And I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.